Spring football is definitely in the air. And, of course, we're talking about 30 college football games coming up uh, in just about 24 hours. LSU, Tennessee, and Tulane have games tomorrow, all with the threat of thunderstorms. Alabama's 8A spring game is also in line for possible storms. And joining us now to talk about this, Tuscaloosa, Alabama coach, I mean, excuse me, from Tuscaloosa is Alabama coach Nick Saban this morning. Good morning, coach. I know you're kind of a, a closet meteorologist, so I'll just ask you what you think <laughs> the weather's going to look like tomorrow for the game. Well, that's, that's going to be my first question for you. A little rain probably uh, is not something that we worry a lot about, but the thunderstorms are certainly a concern because this is such a great traditional game and so many people come back for it. And uh, it's something our players really look forward to. So hopefully you'll do a good job of giving us a positive forecast. Right. Uh, I will do my best, sir. That's that's for sure. Uh, if you do, I mean, if you do have a delay, is this something you prepare the players for? Well, I think it's good practice for the players because we've had games here in the past where we've had thunderstorms, where we've had to sit for 40 minutes maybe during the game in the locker room for a storm to pass. And uh, I think sometimes from a focus standpoint to be able to uh, overcome sort of these kind of distractions are probably important to competitors and something that we can use as a positive experience for uh, future preparation. The other thing, Coach, you know, it's going to be very, very hot and very humid tomorrow. Uh, we're literally jumping right into summer this weekend across parts of the southeast. What about conditioning? Are you a little worried about that or everybody ready to go? I think in spring practice, it's not something that you really focus on because you don't have a game to play. And I think sometimes when it is warm, uh, the players um, are affected by it to some degree. But again, you know, I think this is a, a conditioning point from a mental toughness standpoint that's probably a good thing for, for their development. Next week's the anniversary of the Tuscaloosa tornado back in 2011. Uh, is there anything that you're planning on that? Well, we don't have anything planned, but certainly that experience has made us uh, have a tremendous respect for um, weather forecasting uh, and as well as what these things can really do to damage a community. But uh, I will say this, our community has really responded in a positive way and uh, made things a lot better uh, even after the tornado. So uh, even though it was a tremendous tragedy, uh, the way we responded has really been helpful to make this community even a better place to live. All right, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you how the Crimson Tide's looking this year. Well, we always have a way to go. Spring practice, you're always kind of a work in progress. You lose about 25% of your team. We all obviously lost some really good players, mm -hmm. lots of players in the draft. So uh, it creates a lot of opportunity for some other young players. And uh, we're looking forward to see how those guys do tomorrow. All right, so if you're watching this this morning, he's expecting you to step up a little bit. Thanks, Coach. Always a pleasure talking to you.